Okay, here we are in my TDI. We've installed our scan gauge 2 and what we're going to do is we're going to go for a little drive. I've cleared the odometer or the trip meter and we're going to just illustrate the difference between the 190 on the water gauge when the car indicates it's 190 and when the scan gauge is 190 and this is kind of important for our uh, switch over to vegetable oil because in general I generally wait or used to wait anyway till the meter reached 190 on the water gauge and then I would throw the switch and run on veggie from there. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start the car and I'm also going to start my timer and we're going to go for a little drive. I will uh, check this guy right now. We'll check it for gauge and you can see that the water temperature is currently 51 degrees. If this camera would focus you'd see that. It's the bottom right, 51. It's going to jump 67. Um, and it's probably in the 70s here. It's not real, uh, not real warm. 51 is more accurate. It jumps around sometimes, but it generally hangs on the one number. So I would say it's about 51 degrees. The car sat overnight, hasn't been driven. That's usually what I find. It's around 50, 54 degrees, 51. When it sits overnight, and I haven't touched it all day. So we're going to go for a ride. It's uh, early afternoon. Again, it's in the 70s, and I'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay, so we've been driving for eight minutes, 12 seconds. I've gone about 2.6 miles and right now my temperature gauge has settled into 190 and the water temperature gauge is 146 on the scan gauge and this is generally what I find happens in my limited testing for the past uh, three weeks I've had the scan gauge I find that when this meter says 190 I am basically at 150 according to the scan gauge and uh, the distance at a time I've traveled really isn't that important. The, 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 the important thing is the difference between these two meters because if you have a manual system as I did and I based everything upon this 190 for the switch over, I was obviously switching over earlier than I should have. Now what's going to happen is this gauge is going to pretty much stay where it is but as I continue to the drive the scan gauge will get up to 190 so let's see uh, how long it takes for that to happen. So here we are we've driven a total of 12 minutes and 53 seconds may not be able to see that and I've driven 4.5 miles and my temperature gauge just about a minute ago reached 190 on the scan gauge. I think as a general rule that if you were to have a manual vegetable oil system you should at least have 50 percent more time for the uh, switch over after the temperature gauge on the car reaches 190.